the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You sent to heal the conscience of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and proceed for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may, by your gift, hold fast to them, and that we may live our lives through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusations to make against my own nation. This is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just. He loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just gaze in your face, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper, and had and said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everyone. You know, um, over the last couple of days, and especially last night, I, uh, I've been watching the news, just uh, all, the, all the pain and violence um, that's really broken out in our country the last couple of days. Um, and you know, I, I've been on the internet, which is a dangerous thing to do, uh, on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and other social medias. And I've seen so many of my friends and my peers uh, post in 280 characters or less what they think the solution um, ought to be. And maybe, uh, most definitely, they're far brighter than I am. I don't know if I could give a solution to injustice in our country, uh, of pain, of, of violence, of wounds, in a post like that. And maybe it's not my job to do that. But I do know it's my job to, to pray. But if I'm being really honest, um, when I do see situations um, going across our country, I, I don't know exactly what I ought to be praying for. Uh, because I don't have the experience 
of being a person of color or the experience of being a police officer. I don't have the experience of, of being in these cities. I don't have the experience of feeling the, the wound and the pain these communities might feel. I, I don't know how I ought to pray, but I know I ought to. And I think today is a very fitting day for that confusion because tonight and tomorrow we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. But today, well, the apostles are locked in that room. They're not locked in alone. They're locked in with our Blessed Mother. Because our, our Blessed Mother, as any good mother, hears and helps them deal with their pain and confusion. But as the Blessed Mother directs it towards the Holy Spirit, they might receive him the next day. And it kind of reminds me, when I was a, when I was a freshman in college at Loyola in Baltimore, I, uh, you know, the first time I was living alone, and I, one day I just wasn't feeling good, um, and I wasn't sure, do I have a cold, is it allergies, is it a flu, is it a bug, I, I, I didn't know. And I, I'm like walking across campus, and as I'm walking across campus, I, I see uh, one of the women who uh, worked in an office where I was employed, and uh, Miss Thelma came up to me, and she said, "Hun, what's going on? And I was like, I, I don't know, I just, I don't feel good. I don't know why. And that's all she needed to hear. Because as a, any good mother, uh, Miss Thelma took out her giant mom bag that they all seem to have, and out of the mom bag, she pulled out another smaller bag, which is like a miniature pharmacy that moms seem to have in their bags. And she told me exactly what I was feeling, why I was feeling it, she told me what to take, and most importantly, she told me that it was gonna be okay by tomorrow. And it was, because moms have that magical power to be able to do that. The same is true with our prayers, right? When we don't know how to pray or what to pray for, well, well, we know we have to, well, that's when we should pray to our Blessed Mother, right? Because all our Blessed Mother needs to hear is us say, something's not right, something's off. And as a good mother, she takes in that pain, she takes in that prayer, she takes in that confusion, and she tells her son in heaven exactly what needs to happen. She tells him exactly what's happening. And she tells us, and in the end, everything's going to be all right. So in these days and in the days to come, when we do have confusion, there's always depend on our Blessed Mother. That she would hear us, that she would help us, and she would lead us to her Son. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together we join in our prayers. Um, today we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for Bishop John Barris. We pray for all of our government leaders. The day we feel filled with the Holy Spirit as they lead our church and our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for an end of violence. Pray for healing in all of our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, all those who are suffering. Pray for all those who care for them. Pray for all those who are struggling financially, struggling with emotional health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we mention now in the silence of our hearts. And for Nora Lonergan, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us praise you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we offer these prayers and petitions the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Answer them with they be in accord with your most holy will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His holy name, for our good and for the good of all His church. 
May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church that spread throughout the world and bring into the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace be with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance to your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you turn my roof, but when I say the word of my soul shall be healed. The Holy Spirit will glorify me, for he will take from me what is mine, 
and declare it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Just a quick announcement and reminder that today, this Saturday, we'll have confessions from 2 to 3 p.m. in our school parking lot under the tent you'll see in front of our parish center. Uh, we just ask everyone who is coming just to, you know, be responsible, socially distance when you are waiting for a confession. Um, we don't have an exact line set up, but don't cut people because that's a sin. You can confess that. Um, and know that we do, at, we advertise 2 to 3 p.m., but we'll be out there as long as it takes. So don't worry about it. Um, but if you are able to come to confession today, we'll be outside waiting to uh, forgive your sins. Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.